Thanks for joining me for this short video on using slider bar, a slider bar in ClickSense and applying it to Map Intelligence in conjunction with Esri. We've come into this tab, uh, some ClickSense app here, and you, as you can see, we've got two maps related to the data. We've got two different data sets. One is based on points or outlets, uh, and they're in both the maps, and if we use this chart over here and click to filter um, you can see the maps update to reflect that so they're pretty responsive and very quick to do that if i take that back off we'll get all the data there this other chart is uh, related to the local government area if we take that one it'll just filter down to the lga you can see that lga in the middle there let's so turn the outlets back on um, take the LGA off. The main thing I wanted to show you today was actually this slider bar that we've put in up the top here in click and using that in conjunction uh, with the map to drive the map. So what I might do is just click on ice cream so we've got minimal amount of points on the map so you can see all the local government areas behind and if I um, just click on the um, LGA area, oh, sorry, move it up. Basically, it's an LGA. It's taking um, the LGAs based on um, a lower level and picking up and basically filtering out the ones below in the slider. So if I move up to the next one, you can see we're gradually filtering out the layers. I might just turn the outlets off so that's a little bit clearer. I step up one more level. We're filtered out again one more time. You can see we're focusing in down to the higher and higher um, valued LGA areas. If we go right up here, we'll filter right down to just a couple and eventually just get down to Mosman in the eastern Sydney area on the harbour. So with an average salary higher than 65000 and we can turn the outlets back on if we want to see how they are in relation to that or else shift the slider back the other way and get our outlets back in but as you can see that slider applying filter click and it's, it's certainly very fast and responsive on the map and um, we could actually if we had this on both maps it would be applying to both of them but um, yeah it's only applying to that one in the top so I hope you've found that interesting if you want to use the slider functionality and click it'd be very useful to use in conjunction with time-based analysis which should be fairly easy to set up. Thanks for your attention.